Well, good morning. Welcome to another episode of Backyard Bible. It's a beautiful, bright day today. And look, I decided to keep the shirt. Yeah, my Hawaiian shirt, I kept it. So I wanna show you something today. See, in my garden, I have strawberries. I've got three patches in the yard, actually. This one is actually in the garden itself. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about strawberries. And, and here's the reason why. So this time of year, my mom used to make this dessert. Now, I don't know where she got the recipe. It could have been in the newspaper, could have been in the grocery store, could have been a friend, who knows? But she got a recipe. And I always enjoyed it, and it was something uh, I was thinking about the other day, and it involved strawberries. So first of all, she would bake a sheet cake. It could be like an angel food cake or a vanilla cake, but she would bake a sheet cake. And then she'd put it in the refrigerator after it was done baking and cooled. After it got good and cold, like really cold, she poked it with a whole bunch of holes with a fork. So the whole thing got poked. Now some of you know where I'm going with this, but others don't, so just listen in. She then got strawberry jello, a big package. And she mixed up a big package, maybe two, I don't know how much it was, but she big big batch of strawberry jello. And she let it start to cool. But before it solidified, it still was very liquidy, she would pour this about two thirds of it or so, three quarters of it over top of the cake. And it would go down inside those holes and get all nice and strawberry-y inside the holes. But the cake was cold, so it would cause it to start to solidify. And she would put that back in the refrigerator again. She then took the last quarter or so of the strawberry jello and she mixed it with Cool Whip. And that became the icing which then went over top of the cake, also in the refrigerator, and it would get good and cold, and by dinner time, we would have this for dessert. And it was very, very cold and refreshing in the summertime. Back then, we didn't have air conditioning in our house, so if it got hot out, it was hot. So it was nice to have cold, light things to eat and cold, light desserts to have, and this was perfect. So she also very often poured strawberries on top if we had them from the garden or if they were in season. So I want to show you something with my strawberries. Um, strawberries will um, reproduce a couple different ways. So the first one is the seeds. And seeds, sorry, reaching down here, are on the strawberry. See all those little bumpy things? Those are seeds on the strawberry. So animals take these and they carry them off and the seeds get deposited far and wide and that's how the strawberry spreads way out at a distance. That's how it influences and continues to propagate way far away. But the seeds are not the um, strongest way that it reproduces. The strongest way is something that's down here. I'm gonna show you, give me a second, I'm gonna change the, the angle here so you can see too. I'm gonna come down way, 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 way down. And we're gonna look at this. This is a runner. See the roots coming off the bottom? And this sends this runner out and it goes out and out and out and there's multiple points along the runner here, multiple points all the way to the end and it keeps growing and these little guys spread out from the plant. They reach out and they reroot in multiple points continuing on away from the plant making the patch ever bigger and stronger. And the more plants that are in the patch, the stronger the strawberry patch is. So the seeds go out far and wide, establish new patches, but the runners are what strengthen the patch where it started from. And the reason I bring this up is that the church is the same way. Our congregation sends out seeds far and wide through mission, through um, our online broadcasts, through a variety of methods to uh, touch the world and reestablish God's kingdom elsewhere. But at the same time, we send out runners. And the runners coming out are our personal connections to our friends, family members, acquaintances, people we work with. Our testimony about God locally and bringing people back to the church, that's strengthening the patch. So if we're a bunch of strawberries, we have to send out to the world but we also have to strengthen the patch by reaching out with our runners 
and replanting those roots so that we can build a stronger congregation. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. Strawberry patches and congregations are the same thing. We want to build and strengthen our congregation by reaching out and planting those little roots from all those little runners with all of our connections to our friends, family, co-workers, and people we socialize with. Let's pray. Dear Lord, please give each of us the strength to testify on your behalf to all the people we know and bring more and more people to our church. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And until next time, that was Backyard Bible. Mmm, that's good.